Well, we're here at last, folks. We're at the Temple of Time. We have all three spiritual stones and the Ocarina of Time. Let's open this door. This is the epic moment that you wait most Zelda games <laughs> to bear witness to. Link, isn't that... It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. It sure is. Has the Master Sword been referred to by anyone in the game so far? I'm curious about that. Now given that this temple is made of stone and stained glass window, I have to assume that more than just walls and that sophisticated door are protecting this sacred blade. Well, we needed something that would help us in our fight against Ganondorf, so I guess this sword is it? The Kokiri sword is in need of an upgrade anyway, isn't it? Phew, okay. Press A to grab. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Link. Wake up. Link, the Chosen One. I am Roru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword. The evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Wow. 
Wowee. Look, Link, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? I understand what you've told me so far. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roru, am one of the sages, and... Your power to fight together with the sages makes you the Hero of Time. The Hero of Time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. We received the Light Medallion. Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. So we're back. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. It must take some getting used to walking around in what is essentially a brand new body. It I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. 
you must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the, te for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, Link? So we've not really went into the background of this. There are hints in Kakariko village and in the graveyard. The royal family of Hyrule was served by a clan which have many ninja-like qualities <laughs> called the Sheikahs. Impa, who is Zelda's attendant, she was supposedly one of the last of the Sheikah. Or at least she's the only Sheikah that we've ran into since Sheik there. Wow, okay. <laughs> have seven years really passed? Well, I would say so. Now it is a bit gutting that not long after getting the boomerang, it is sealed off to us. The Kokiri sword is no longer accessible to us. If we had a Deku shield, we could not use that either. Now we do have Din's fire, Faro's wind, bombs, Deku nuts, the ocarina, of course, and our three bottles. Although that milk has probably spoiled by now and those two fairies have probably asphyxiated, but all for the sake of Hyrule, right? Let's go see what the market's like. Wow. Must have been a pretty wild party these people had. And yep, it's teeming with re dead. E I hate that screaming. Thankfully, in the market, for some reason, the screams do not paralyze you. And it looks like the drawbridge has been destroyed as well. Yep, Hyrule Market is in ruins. There is still hope though. Uh, Kakariko Village is relatively untouched. And it looks like the horrible weather is only over Hyrule Town. Or Hyrule Town Market. Now Sheik said that if we want to actually do anything at all, we need to head to Kakariko Village, so we need to have a quick look around and see if anything has changed. <laughs> That's basically all there is to it. Now I love the slight change in the tune to Kakariko. One, because it's a little more like the A Link to the Past version, and two, it's slightly more somber. <laughs> People that had to evacuate Hyrule Town Market came here. So a few of the houses that were you know, either under construction or not accessible to us before can now be so. For instance, the potion shop is now here. Uh, the bazaar is now here. The house that was under construction is now a target range for when we get a replacement for the slingshot, which unfortunately we will need. Now here's an amusing thing. Let's um, let's go into the windmill. We've not really been in here before, have we? Which is a shame because it has one of the more iconic tunes <laughs> from the series. Huh? Why a question mark? We're inside a windmill. We know this. Wow, this guy looks a bit vexed. Oh, look at those evil eyes. Maybe it's extreme cataracts. Let's find out. Grrr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grrr. It's all that ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Wow, that's twisted. Hey, did the ocarina look like this by any chance? What? You've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. 
Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. It's raining indoors. <laughs> You've learned the Song of Storms. Oh no, a storm again! You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Grrr. And yet, yeah, it looks like the windmill's been sent into overdrive. <laughs> oh, this feels weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gotta jump off at the right time. The Song of Storms is a very curious song. It basically causes rainfall wherever you are. Which you may think is a pretty useless ability, but it has its benefits. What I did want to double check though... No, I guess not. I was curious to see if playing the Song of Storms outdoors would actually make the windmill go faster here, but I guess not. Anyway, onwards! The Song of Storms, by making water appear en masse, you can sometimes fill up dried ponds. There are even secret holes dotted about Hyrule, where the only way to get to them is by playing the Song of Storms. Presumably the water erodes <laughs> the top level soil or whatever. This is Dampe's hut. Um, let's go in here. Gravekeeper's hut. The Gravekeeper's diary is here. Do you want to read it? <laughs> yes. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you keep my stretching, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you, Dampe. Hmm, okay. So, Dampe's dead, but he still found time to... Ah, Paul! What? I had my shield up. What does Navi actually say about Pose? Yeah, if you stare at them with Z-targeting, they disappear. There we go. Now, one of these graves has flowers on it, but it did not seven years ago. Is it this one? I think it is. Another question mark location. And sure enough, there's Dampy! <laughs> More active and joyful looking than ever. This is a big grave, Dampy. You must have been way more important than I realized. <laughs> Young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me, if you dare. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. Now, Dampe may be joyful, but he does not play fair. As you can see, he drops fire <laughs> in front of us. You do not want to get hit by those fires, because it will slow you down quite a bit. They don't just hurt Link, they will knock him to the ground. And you do want to be careful that you do not lose sight of Dampe either, because a wrong turn in this would lead you to quite an un... Did I get crushed by the door? Oh. <laughs> I did not know that could happen. Wow. Talk about bad timing. Okay, Dampy. What does Navi say about him? Dampy's ghost. That's the ghost of the dead gravekeeper. If you chase him, he might give you his keepsake. Navi says that even if you've not read the diary. <laughs> 
Young man, are you fast? Okay, let's do this. Now, contrary to Dampe saying that this is a race, don't feel discouraged if you cannot overtake him, because you're really not meant to. <laughs> He's way too fast. I can't believe I got crushed by a door. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, Dampy moves faster than you can change the camera. I've never taken the time to fully explore this place simply because I don't. Ow. I don't want to spend any more time in here than is necessary. But from some of the ambient noises you hear, a wrong turn could lead you into the path of a re-dead. <laughs> Which we obviously don't want, right? Okay, we should be nearer the end now. Yes, we are. Whew, well, we kept up with you, Dampy. Is that good enough? The time of this race was... 1 minute 3. <laughs> Young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. It's a spring-loaded chain, and it will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> yes! You found the hook shot! It's a spring loaded chain that you can cast out to hook things. You can use it to drag distant items toward you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding C, you can aim with the stick, shoot it by releasing C. The hook shot! Anytime this has appeared in a Zelda game, you will thank your stars that you had it. All you do is point at something and. Woo! <laughs> you can fly towards it. This opens up the lev this opens up the world a good bit. Oh. What's happened here? Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Yes it is. You know what that means though. The gaming community just call these things time blocks. If you play the song of time, they will either disappear or they will relocate. I'm pretty sure even if you make them disappear like this, they will just appear elsewhere. Navi, what are you asking about now? I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Saria too. Yeah, we should probably contact Saria once we get out of here. <laughs> you do often forget that you have a near constant line of communication with her. Usually wooden surfaces you can latch onto with the hookshot. I guess not these ones though. Hello. Then we just ease our way around here. Come on! There we go. Piece of heart. Piece of heart, piece of cake. So the two curious question mark locations are connected. I am not going to question that in the slightest. So this is what Sheik meant when he, she, it said you need to go to Kakariko Village to get something useful. This is the way that you're supposed to reach this guy up here, <laughs> rather than me jumping off the tower all those years ago. Thanks for the reminder, I guess. Another curious thing about this big time shift is 
there are gold skeletal that we can now get <laughs> that we could not acquire all those years ago. Places where I've gotten deja vu or places where my neurons have been crossed in the past. We'll probably have to go back to those places too. Because in all likelihood, it just means we were in the wrong time frame. <laughs> Who's in here? Oh, it's you! Where's your dog? Look at him! The man with the beard! I think he was fired from his job at the ranch. He's always just lazing around morning, noon and night. He's an awfully carefree guy during such hard times. Maybe he has a serious physical problem. ZZZ. Mal and doing alright, mumble mumble. Sorry to make you worry. Hmm, perhaps we need another Kuko to awaken him. Hey, what about that woman, Anju? Didn't she have some Kukos? I wonder if she has any left. Judging by the empty chicken coop, I think not. I bred a new type of miniature Kuko. I call it the Pocket Kuko. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Kukos are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? No, I've been kind of off the radar for seven years. It makes them happy to crow cuckoo, especially when it wakes up a heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo is hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Ah, uh, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Just like before, we've started with an egg, but this is a pocket egg. Yep, that big long trading quest that we used for getting the Mask of Truth, we've got another one now that we're an adult. Oh, bugs. Ha! Bugs have their uses. They're worth a surprising amount if you talk to the beggar chap, who is now in Kakariko Village as well. Those soft mounds of soil that we found before. Skeltilla like to live in those. And every single one of them will have a Skeltilla hiding in sight. When we come to do the magic bean stuff, we will go back there and... and deal with them too. Oh yeah, we were going to talk to Saria, weren't we not? Yes, I want to talk to Saria, right? Link, this is Saria. Can you hear me? Great, you're safe. I knew I would hear from you again. I'm in the forest temple. Oh boy. The forest spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. But it's full of evil monsters. Help me, Link. No, I think I got the message. Oh dear. Now, we definitely do want to go to the forest temple, however, the game's difficulty definitely jumps up a little bit here. So we're going to go slightly off our prescribed path and head back to Zora's domain. Now thankfully, Zora's river is not that deep. Now that we're older, we can pretty much jump it. Or even just wade through it in some places. Thank goodness, right? Oh, the rock! Oh, he's too low down. <laughs> Taste my hook shot. Uh, as you can see, the bean selling guy is gone. But yes, it's very likely that any places where I previously thought... Oh, I can't jump up that way. It's only slightly too deep on that side. 
Any places where I previously thought there were gold skeletal, but there really were not. Chances are, I just got the time frames mixed up. And I'm fairly certain one of these is in Zora's river. Unfortunately, the frogs have disappeared from there, but we will go back and deal with those in time too. <laughs> there are a lot of side quests in this game where you could start them, but it would take you a long time to finish them, and chances are you may even forget. Ow! Flanked! But by doing this, I can show you some of the side quests being completed all at once. And the same goes for that pocket cuckoo, by the way. Even when it hatches, I will only go through with the side quest once we have all the correct <laughs> materials to do so. Oh, there it is! Quickly! Must kill it before the sun rises! Yep. This is our go-to for these things. Now I want to say there's another one slightly further uphill. Oh, it's the miracle of life! Again. Now I want to say there's another Skeltula further upstream. Whether or not we can reach it remains to be seen. Ow. Sorry, Link. If you remember way back when we were inside the Deku Tree, a certain Deku scrub told us that you can survive pretty much any jump from a moderate height if you roll upon landing. This is true, and in fact there are very few <laughs> drops in the game, so to speak, where you would not survive. Is that snow coming down? I think it is. Aha! There, there she blows! Oh darn, is it just out of range? Come on. Surely I can stand up here and get it. Yes! Phew! That was good. So the little targeting laser that the hookshot seems to possess, it only factors in the wall behind it, not the enemies in front of it, so we were just within range there. You know, if we go up here and it turns out that King Zora has not moved in seven years, I would not be surprised in the slightest. Open. Mellock. <laughs> Actually, it probably is better I come in here at night because there's a gold skeltula <laughs> that we can grab along the way. But look at this place! It's frozen! And there's not a single Zora in sight! It's kind of unnerving to come back to a place like this, and it's not only completely devoid of people, but it's quiet as well. And the entrance to the shop is blocked by something too. Let's see what King Zora is doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can totally believe this would happen. He's so immobile that he's, he's been frozen in ice. Oh dear. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, silly king. Yes, even though it was, you know, blood red, it's still ice. 
Easy does it. There it is. Even after, what, 36 times that's happened now? 37 times? <laughs> it's still satisfying to hear that. <laughs> Noise. So why on earth has Zora, Zora's fountain frozen over? I assume it has because that's where the ice <laughs> is leading us. Oh, never mind, it seems to have thawed just a little bit here. Ganondorf has done some really messed up things in the seven years that we've been asleep. And among those things is that he's done something bad with the weather <laughs> up here. Also, look at this! Lord Jabu Jabu is nowhere to be seen. Instead, we've got just a whole bunch of ice platforms. And a big curious opening there that we could not get to before. Interesting. There's a piece of heart along here, actually. Let's see if we can get that. You have to be careful standing on the ice. Oh, it's not entirely stable, and it's a bit slippery. Gotta watch these ice platforms, they move around. Plus you're under fire from Octorox. Yup. Oh, excellent. Heart container. Then we're in our second row. Even better. They've got to watch these ones, they spin funny. Whoop. Some of them you can grab onto the side, but it's a bit hit or miss. And then up here we go! Yep. So believe it or not, we've got a dungeon through there. Yeah, <laughs> we have a dungeon. But given just what we've been through this time around, we're going to take a break here. Link has to take some time to recuperate and get used to his now hormone-filled body. That came out weirder than it should have.